holy God with praise on name. Number 197. None of you are going uh, trick or treating, <laughs> even though you're wearing masks. <laughs> I'm dressed as a priest. <laughs> okay, today's uh, we're celebrating All Saints Day, even though it's All Hallows Eve. We're celebrating All Saints as a, the uh, the Vigil Mass. And remember the saints listed in the Communion of Saints that were liturgical calendar. We also remember our loved ones, our uh, ones that we said they, they got to be in heaven or the ones we've been praying for that, you know, uh, that, uh, and that they're by their example. And uh, we also pray for ourselves. The Bible calls us saints. You know, we, that's what St. Paul uses. And uh, that means, you know, redeemed by God and living for him. So we draw inspiration from the lives of faith uh, of these people, and uh, those are the people we love, giving inspiration as we ourselves continue to struggle to be faithful and loving members of the Christian family. We first call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, first to rise from the dead, Lord have mercy. Amen. Christ Jesus, all the saints sing your praises. They are in your service. Christ have mercy. Amen. Lord Jesus, we are your saints on earth pleading your forgiveness. Lord have mercy. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. On earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors and abundance for the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshipped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing these white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the great time of distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has put this hope based on him makes himself pure, and he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. After he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and they persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you. First reading talks about uh, heaven, right? It's a revelation. It talks about, first of all, that there's four angels. This is at the, before the, the judgment. There's four angels standing at the four corners of the earth. And then understanding what that would be would be the north, the south, the east, and the west. And they're protecting this other angel coming that's holding the seal, the seal of the, of the Lamb, of the seal of God's seal. Now, back in the old days, it was in the kings who would have this ring, this signet ring, or they would have this kind of a stamp thing. And it would be, of course, kind of like, you know, like we have seals on letterhead and stuff. But this was to be this angel, those four angels protecting this one angel coming um, to mark this, this seal 
on the foreheads. And then, then I talked about how many were there. 144,000 from every tribe of Israel. So I mean, uh, yeah, we mean 25,000 of each of the 12 tribes of Israel. 12, 25 times 12. And then, that's just the beginning. And then, after that, it's like there's a great multitude. And they, what were they doing? They, they couldn't even count. They were praising God. Now, I know that uh, Penn State's playing tonight. And, <laughs> and I know that tomorrow the Steelers are playing the Ravens. <laughs> and I've never been to know any game like that. There won't be many, too many people in the stadium this time. But I can't imagine trying to figure out 144,000 people would be like, plus the multitude you couldn't count. The only thing I can think about is when I went to <laughs> the UK game <laughs> in Rupp Arena, and it was packed, and the screaming and yelling was so loud it was hurting my ears. And it was all in joy and jubilation. And that was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. But <laughs> this is nothing compared. So if you think sports is the best, heaven's going to be 100%, 1,000 times, multi-zillion times better. <laughs> it's not going to be boring. <laughs> So, do you want the kingdom of heaven? Learn what it means to be poor in spirit. Do you want to see God? Be clean of heart. Be clean. Do you want to be a child of God? Be a peacemaker. Do you want to be rewarded in heaven? Have the courage to be insulted, to be made fun of, to an accused falsely because of Jesus. Now I'm going to replace the I am in the second reading uh, to the we are to I am. We can also think of our loved ones who have died when we think about this. As we are baptized, as we live in God, here's what it says. I am a child of God. I know Jesus. I do know I'm a child of God now. I do not know what I will be in heaven but it will be even greater. When I get there, I shall be like God, for I shall see him as he is. Therefore, I make myself pure as he is pure. Now this is, uh, that's all from the one John we heard today. And this is uh, a little bit of me on how to be, how, how to be pure. Well, I will go to confession to receive forgiveness and be pure. I will receive holy communion to receive the purity of Jesus inside of my heart and soul. I will make myself pure by being prayerful, by being charitable, by being forgiving. I will make myself pure by forgiving others from the heart. I will make myself pure by Stretching my loving and kindness to more types of people and trying to be loving towards every type of person with unconditional love. May this Eucharist we receive in this celebration of the saints give us the grace to live as a blessed child of God. We profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God and true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, came down from heaven, by the Holy Spirit was incarnate, the Virgin Mary became man. For our sake he was crucified by Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. Rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. The kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceeds from the Father and the Son. The Father and the Son is adored and glorified spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess on baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With the inspiration of, of so many saints gone before us, with their prayers interceding for us and helping us too, we offer our prayers. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church and its leaders, may they serve as beacons of light and hope in a world with many problems and difficulties, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our national and local leaders, may God grant them compassion and insight in showing special care for the most vulnerable in our society, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That God guide those who are deciding who to vote for on Election Day with gospel principles, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For safe elections, that God will protect all who plan to vote and all who will be working at polling places so all may fulfill their civic responsibilities, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For greater respect for life, that the Holy Spirit will open all to a deeper recognition of the beauty and mystery of life in all its stages, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For healing, that through the intercession of the saints, God will deliver the human family from the coronavirus and everything that destroys God's gift of life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are struggling financially, that God will give them hope, open doors to employment opportunities, and touch the hearts of many to support them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community churches, especially Reverend James Eastman and members of Deeper Waters Ministry. We also pray for Father Felix and the members of San Antonio, our sister parish in the Yucatan, that the Spirit of God will help us grow in unity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved deceased, especially for Rita Ger Shoup, who died recently, and for Peter Fergali, and Florence Stoltz Jack, who we remember in a special way in this liturgy, and for all who have died recently, and for those listed in our All Souls Remembrance book on the altar. May they experience the love and mercy of Jesus and rest in his heavenly peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for any special intentions that you would like to voice at this time. For our trick-or-treaters for safety and in all ways uh, to keep them safe and have an enjoyable time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord our God, as we reflect on the lives of the saints, we take comfort in knowing they enjoy peace and have been truly blessed in the promises you have made in heaven. We draw inspiration from their lives and may ourselves continue as we struggle to be faithful and loving members of the Christian family. Hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you, through the earth work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, become our spiritual drink.
Pray my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord. Grant that, just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift up your Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already give you eternal praise. Towards her we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith and rejoicing in the glory bestowed on the exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. So we glorify you, the multitude of angels and saints with one voice of praise we acclaim. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things, you make them holy. And you never cease to gather your people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we've brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith.
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate this memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, his ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy, this living sacrifice. We look, Lord, then we pray upon this oblation of your church. And recognizing the sacrificial victim whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son be filled with his Holy Spirit to become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you. We may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Mark, Saint James, Saint Joseph, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in charity and faith your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family you summoned before you. In your compassion, O Lord, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, remember them who you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in the resurrection. When from this earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his glorified body. To all of our brothers and sisters departed, to all who were pleasing to you at this life and their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Then you will wipe away from the tears of our eyes every tear, for we will see you are God as you are. We shall be like you for all the ages. Praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by the teachings of Jesus, he tells us to say these words, Our Father, pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, keep us always free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait the joyful hope, the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe you are the most present in the holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you this moment, sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. You are already here. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. So remember to uh, go single file, be six feet apart from each other, and also use the, the hand sanitizer coming to communion.
Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that, coming to perfect holiness and fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, next week we it's an, an opportunity that you usually don't hear from me is uh, bring your cell phone. <laughs> Going to use your cell phone next week, believe it or not, at Mass, so don't forget. Okay, now, a brief praying change of schedule. Uh, the, 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 the bulletin says that there's a, the great, a grateful steward talk next weekend. It will not be next weekend. It'll be November 14th and 15th. And uh, let's see. Um, of course, Tuesday's voting day. Please uh, pray for this nation and pray for the good out to turn out. And um, also, don't forget to go out to vote and make it a priority. Lecture workbooks are still in the sacristy. And uh, don't forget to turn your clocks back tonight. Now we'll have the uh, All Souls Remembrance Service. Uh, please kneel. During the month of All Souls, we remember those who have died. We are especially mindful of our deceased spouses, parents, children, close relatives, and friends, whom we miss very much and still love dearly. Today, we here at St. Mark, St. James, call to mind our parishioners who have died in the past year. Charles Stewart, Edna Shaker. 
George Ann Holden, Adelaide Gustafson, Gabriel Paul Kaplan. 